Choosing an astronomical telescope can seem like a daunting task, especially when there are hundreds of instruments on the market. I've come along to an astronomy shop in North Norfolk to help explain the differences. So have you got an interest in astronomy then? I do have a genuine interest in astronomy. I've got books on it, I've got several telescopes, never really got them working. You've got several telescopes? Many telescopes. How many have you got? At least three quite big ones. Three? They're either both... The ones. Christmas star, the star of Bethlehem. Many of us grew up with a story over Christmas time, but there isn't a shred of evidence of a star appearing in the sky that was so significantly bright that it led the wise men off on their journey. The Egyptians, the Babylonians recorded vast amounts of astronomical information, but say nothing of this mystical star. Where better to start my journey around UK astronomy societies than my own local group, the Norwich Astronomical Society. I've come along to their first public open evening to talk to the public about the search for ET. Taking pictures of space is really good fun. And the great thing is you don't need lots of expensive kit, just a basic digital camera. You don't even need to go out into the countryside. In fact, you can get some fantastic results from the comfort of your own back garden. There's one important consideration when photographing the night sky, and that's that the stars are faint. So you need a camera that's capable of taking long exposures, and you need something to keep it still. So I've got a DSLR camera, I've got a tripod, and a piece of card. Well, now we need some Sumu Selmi in the Arctic wilderness. Today's challenge is to learn to drive a husky sled. Are we, are we sharing? We are sharing. Are you driving? You're driving me. I am. On a sled. So, perfect, you can stop that now because it's working beautifully. You can stop now, Flora. <laughs> Now, look at the audience because your hair is looking brilliant. <laughs> Don't try and put it down because it looks great. Just leave your hair alone, Flora. So, this is a Van de Graaff generator and it's producing tiny little things called electrons that we can't... <laughs> <laughs> mm. 